So in this video, again, it's going to be purely speculation from my part. However, it will be very educated speculation based on what I have used and what I have observed um, in the recent month since I started 3D printing using exclusively Bamboo Lab printers, okay? So right now it's Christmas of 2025 and uh, my prediction in this video is going to be that the Bamboo Lab A1 and A1 Mini will be replaced very soon with the Bamboo Lab A2 and A2 Mini, okay? So here's why, because uh, I've been constantly monitoring the stock level of the P1 and the A1 and the A1 Mini series on the internet, especially for United States, it seems like most of those printers has been sold. Of course, they were on huge discounts when the P2S came out and also with the push of the H2C and the Black Friday deals, all those old stocks has been pretty much cleared at this point. So there's not much P1 and A1 slash A1 mini stock left. And it doesn't look like Bamboo is actually replenishing those stocks for the United States. That leads me to the conclusion that obviously with all those nice improvements that they did for the P2 um, in regards to a small revolutionary upgrade, I think those will also be trickled down to the A2 and the A2 mini series. Now, here's my prediction. And again, I'm making this video for myself uh, because it's really, it will be interesting to find out if my prediction is correct. And because I work in product development myself um, with software development, so I know even though there are no news about A1, uh, about the A2 and the A2 mini, they are pretty much already done in the pipeline and they are probably already at the final testing stage. Now, I'm not an influencer, so I don't really get, the, get to test Bamboo's newest offerings before they come to the market, but that's one general tactic where a lot of companies do, um, is send out those newly released pre-production models to the influencers to test for at least two to three months, so they could prepare for um, a final review once the product is released. But again, my prediction is that A2 and A2 Mini is coming to consumers like me. And also they are probably already in the hands of the influencers um, and product testers, especially for the 3D printing market um, being tested currently. But again, my prediction, here we go. Um, the biggest prediction for me, I think, uh, for the A2 and A2 mini is going to be a significant upgrade for the cameras, okay? Everybody hated the P1 and the A1 and the A1 mini cameras. They were so slow, they were pretty much useless. And if you saw my recent uh, um, shorts about a demonstration of the comparison of the my A1 mini's camera compared to my H2D, there is no comparison. And also there's no reason to use a really crappy camera nowadays, especially in year 2026, where every manufacturer can get a really cheap 1080p camera, you know, for practically nothing. So my prediction number one is that the camera is going to be hugely improved for the A2 and A2 mini series when it comes out. The second improvement is also coming that's together with the camera improvement would be the implementation of the AI detections um, that are implemented um, successfully on the P2 and the uh, H2 series of the printers. Um, those prediction models, again, um, when it comes to A1 and A1 mini, they will be more mature because those models can be fine-tuned in iterations. When they, when they take in, when they ingest all the failed prints and they start to train those models on those failed prints, the more failed prints they, they train on and the more failed cases they train on, those models will get improved in iterations. So when the A1 and A1 mini gets those AI detection models coming up, they will be a better model and they will also improve upon whatever data that's already being used for training um, on all the past generations. So that would be a nice, you know, upgrade for the A1 series or yeah, for the A1 series when it comes to the A2 and A2 mini cameras. 
That's my second prediction, okay? My third prediction, and again, the implementation of this feature would be nice, but uh, it will be hard to pass down the cost to the consumers, which would be the improvements for the poop ejection method, okay? Right now, there is not a catching tray for the poops to come out. Now, I understand there's also not a catching method for the, um, for the P, for the enclosured models where the poop is just coming out from the rear area. Uh, and everybody has, the first thing they do is printing out a catching tray. Um, for me, for the A1, I have a failed print that I use as a poop shoot and it works fine, but this will be a really nice to have and thoughtful upgrade for those exposed models to have a nice poop chute catching mechanism. The ejection method, I think, also works fine. However, for that ejection method to work, um, again, that's also the first thing that many people, when they have an A1 or A1 Mini, uh, is to have a ejection catching like mechanism, that little red tab over here. This thing, pretty much everybody has to print, and I'm surprised that Bamboo didn't offer a model for the, the ejected stuff to come down uh, when it's being ejected, which is crazy, okay? Again, those features are nice to have. This is my number three prediction. Hopefully there's improvement to the poop ejection method and the poop tray, okay? Nice to have, not necessary. But that's my prediction. And again, um, the A1 Mini, I've already enjoyed using it so much. I only use H2D when I need really a larger print or I need to print something in large volumes in a rather short amount of time. So right now, both printers are working because it's Christmas time. Um, on the A1 Mini, I'm printing some stuff that I'm actually selling. And on the H2D, I'm printing a massive amount of toys that I'll be giving out to my family members when I go see my parents. So again, my prediction ends here and hopefully you would agree with me that those are much needed features for the A A1 and A1 Mini. And what I think is never going to be implemented, which is on a lot of people's wish list, is the, um, the core XY printing technology. Now, based on my experience, you don't really need Core XY to, to get fantastic stellar prints, okay? That's just, uh, for me, for the most part, partially marketing. Because on the AY Mini, it has been dead, dead, seriously stable. It hasn't had much failed print. I haven't had much failed print on the A1 uh, Mini once I have those prints dialed in. So, and the print quality, I mean, honestly, indistinguishable between my H2D and the P1S that I had, and for the short amount of time, the P2S. Actually, the inferior print quality, the, the most inferior print quality that I've experienced is on my return P2S, okay? Many people said it was me, but I think I just got a lemon. Hopefully P2S has similar print quality than the rest of the printers that Bamboo offers, but uh, really, Core XY is um, is a nice to have, but it's really not necessary for a fantastic and stable print. Those are my predictions, and those are my opinions. And again, there's no site and no news of A2, A2 Mini currently on the internet, but I have a feeling they are coming rather soon in year 2026 because the A1 and A1 Mini stock has been running dry. You can't buy them anymore, pretty much. Um, and I'm pretty sure that Bamboo is ready to push out the A2 and A2 Mini, and you'll eventually see a lot of uh, detailed reviews from the influencers, okay? And if Bamboo, um, you're seeing my video, I would be interested in testing those uh, new printers out. So if you want to send me a copy, I'll be happy to test. And as you can see, I've been using your printers for quite uh, extensively. And uh, so, yeah, keep me in mind, okay, Bamboo Lab. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.